Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Runmore. Today we're going to be talking about the Hoka Arahi 6. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out our channel. If you can do me a solid, give us a like and subscribe. It certainly helps us find new people out there. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Hoka Arahi 6. We've been a Hoka dealer since we opened back in 2014, so we've actually seen every version of the Arahi come through our shop. Very much like this shoe, and I'm really excited about the update. So this is a mid-cushion stability shoe from Hoka. Most people that come into Hoka, um, a lot of people, I shouldn't say everybody, but a lot of people come in here with the expectation of like a Clifton. The Clifton is the most popular shoe that Hoka has. It's a mid-cushion neutral shoe. It's their everyday trainer. Well, this is its companion shoe. The Arahi is the stability version of the Clifton. You can tell there's a lot of characteristics that have come over from the Clifton into the Arahi, especially the Arahi 6 with this new higher extended pull tab. It's a little bit more plush, puffy tongue to it. Um, this is gonna be your design shoe for somebody who has some pronation issues. What's interesting about this shoe that I have discovered um, is that because of this J frame of stability through it, and if you kind of look, you can see that there's like a J there. The J frame is different levels of density in this shoe designed to help from anybody who's doing any of this and this. It's designed to just hold you in place. What's nice about that is that the way the stability is in this shoe, if you're somebody who over pronates or under pronates, it's going to do the exact same thing. It's going to push you back to neutral. If you're somebody who doesn't do either, guess what? It's not going to do either. Either. You can sort of feel, feel yourself sinking down in the middle of the shoe. It just wants to kind of keep you in the middle. What I like about this shoe, it's super lightweight, but super comfortable, cushioned, and supportive. So I actually just went on a really exciting trip with my family to Lisbon, and I took a pair of the Arahis with me. It was the perfect shoe that I can go walk all day in and then go run in as well. It wasn't a lot of luggage space, so I really had to be smart with what I took. So it was a great shoe to walk around, and then I can still put it on and go do some fun fast miles. And you can really do some fast miles in this shoe. Even though it's a supportive shoe, it actually weighs less than the Clifton 8 now. On the women's side, this shoe is just over 7 ounces. On the men, it's 9.3. That's like an ounce lighter than the Clifton. So that's a nice thing to have a stability shoe that's actually still going to feel light and bouncy and not being a light cushion shoe, a mid cushion shoe. So what that means to me is like, you could do anything from like a mile to a marathon in the shoe. There's really nothing you couldn't do in this shoe because the cushion is that much, is, is that supportive. And with the weight being what it is, you can still go turn some fast miles into it. One of the big updates that I really liked on this version from the version five is the fit is much better. Especially from version four and like version five, it found it so puffy and like it kind of ran big and it ran kind of wide almost. Like we had a hard time pulling the right size for people here at the shop. It just seemed like we were constantly playing around with it. Um, this actually fits really true to size and, and a lot of Hoka shoes, I have a hard time with that. I have some shoes like the Bondi where I actually went to a wide, even though I don't necessarily always need a wide. Um, this shoe fit me as a standard perfect. It does come in widths, so on the men's you can get this in a D width or a 2E, and on the women it just comes in, uh, comes in a B or a D. So they're still not making this in a 4E extra wide on the men's side, maybe something in 2023, but for now, um, the only shoe you can get in a 4E at this point is still the Bondi. But you can get this in a 2E if you need it, um, but if you're somebody who just has a regular fitting foot, you're going to be fine in just as a standard width. And again, a lot of times the last versions, uh, versions 4 and 5, People that had more of a narrower cut foot, they swam in the Arahi. Like it was a really hard pull for people because you could see it sort of bunch up around their toe box because the material was just so loose and it just didn't fit well. This fits so well. And I think part of it also is the tongue is super padded on there now. You feel nice and secure in this shoe when you're going through it. So you can walk, you can run, you can do a little bit of everything in this shoe. Couple things that I don't love about Hoka shoes just in general, specifically like a model like this that has that nice rocker platform to it, it's not great for side to side mobility. That's just how I feel. So if you're somebody looking for a Hoka shoe um, to do more like weight bearing stuff or some lateral moving stuff, I might advise against that. But if you're somebody who's just looking for a super comfortable shoe, I'm gonna hold up another color while I'm yapping. Um, a comfortable shoe that you can wear all day and do a little bit of everything in, the Arahi is gonna be a great option. Again, if somebody who needs some pronation correction, this is gonna be something that can help you with it. It also has some of those, again, characteristics of the Clifton in that the drop is the same. So this shoe has a five millimeter heel to toe drop. And because it is a Hoka, it has that meta rocker platform that's designed to kind of smoothly and efficiently roll you from heel to toe. And I think that's like my favorite thing about this shoe. And when I'm explaining to people about just Hoka shoes in general is like, 
You can kind of wrap your head around the idea of a shoe that's sort of built on a bit of a curve. Like it makes sense, right? When you're running, you land and it just glides you along from your heel to your toe. It feels smooth, it feels inefficient. When you're looking at shoes that have like a high drop, stiff, stiff midsole feel to it, you can almost kind of hear people walking and running. It's really slappy is the term I use. Where this like, it just kind of moves along with you. It's very nice. So Hoka Arahi 6, it's available now in a variety of colors. Another women's color, and then this is actually the color that I took on my trip. This is another one of the men's colors. Um, variety of widths, variety of colors, available on our website, letsrunmore.com. If you enter promo code RUNMORE, you'll save yourself 10%, we'll ship it out for free. This shoe is retailing at 140 bucks, which really is right in line with where it should be in other mid-cushion stability and just mid-cushion shoes in general. It's a great value shoe. Um, the durability seems to be good on this shoe as well so far from what I've put into it. Um, if you have any questions on the shoe or any other shoes that we've been talking about, feel free to leave it down below in our comments. And if there's anything you're kind of looking for that's different or unique that we can do a little bit better job, feel free to leave it down there below and we will do our best to get back to you. I appreciate it so much. Have a great day and happy running out there. Thank you.